sometimes I recited one story. This is very instructive that Narad Muni, he used to visit Narayan every day. So when he was passing on the road, one very learned Brahmin and taking thrice bath and everything very nicely, he asked Narad Muni, Oh, you are going to uh, Lord, uh, will you inquire? Uh, when I shall get my salvation. Uh, all right, I shall ask. And then a uh, cobbler, he was under the tree, uh, seeing the shoes, old shoes. He also saw Narabhuni, he also inquired, will you kindly inquire from God when my salvation is? Then when he inquired, Krishna, Narayan, Narabhuni goes generally to Narayan in another planet. Oh, yes, true. Mm. One Brahmin and one cobbler, they inquired like this. May I know what is their destination? The Narayan said, after giving up this body, he is coming here and boycott. And what about that Brahmin? Oh, he has to remain there still. So many. But I do not know when he is coming. So Narad Muni was astonished. I saw that is very nice Brahmin. And he is a cobbler, how is that? So he inquired, then I cannot understand the mystery, why you say that Kabbalah is coming after this body, and why not this Brahmin? Oh, that you will understand. He then inquired that what Krishna or Narayan was doing in his abode. So just uh, explained that he was taking one elephant through the hole of a needle, he is pulling an elephant this side and this side. All right. So, when he again approached the Brahmin, the Brahmin said, Oh, you have seen a Lord, yes. So what was you are doing? He was taking one elephant through the hole of a needle, he is pulling an elephant this side and this side. Oh, therefore, I have no faith in your, I have but respect for your God. We don't believe all this nonsense. Then uh, Narad could understand, uh, this man has no faith. He simply reads book, that's all. And when he went to the cobbler, uh, he also asked, oh, you have seen uh, what uh, Narayan was doing. Uh, he also said that you are doing like this. Oh, he began to cry. Oh, my Lord is wonderful. Oh, he can do anything. So Narad inquired, so do you believe? that uh, Lord can push one elephant to the holes of a needle. Oh, why not? I must believe. Then what is your reason? Oh, my reason. I am sitting under this uh, banyan tree, and so many fruits are falling daily, and each fruit there are thousands of seeds, and each seed there is a tree. If in a small seed there can be big tree like that, is it very impossible to accept that uh, Krishna is putting one elephant through the holes of a needle? He has kept such a nice tree in the sea. So this is called belief. The unbeliever and believer means the believers, they are not blind believers. They have reason. If by Krishna's process, by God's process or nature's process, such a big tree can be put within the small seed. Uh, is it very impossible for Krishna to keep all these planets floating in his energy? So we have to believe. We have no other explanation. But we have to understand in this way. Our reasoning, our argument, our logic should go in this way. So those who are devotees, just like the cobbler, he may be a cobbler. They believe everything. And those who are not devotees, they will say, oh, these are all bluffs. These are all bluffs. But they are not bluff. It is simply meant for the devotees. They can understand. The non-devotees, they cannot understand.